Good afternoon, one footballers, and welcome back to the European Power Rankings Week 2. Basically, this is a show where we look around Europe and find the 10 best players from over the weekend's action. Of course, with it only being Week 2, there's loads of new entrants, there's also someone who's kept banging form, and there's another player who smashed in his first goal for his new club in his 51st game. That and more coming up in the next few minutes, so let's hop into it. In at number 10 is someone who faced an uncertain future at PSG, it's Angel Di Maria. With the likes of Mbappe, Cavani and Neymar up front, you thought, where's he going to fit into the squad? Well, he's fitted in well on the left-hand side of a midfield and is absolutely banging form, including scoring directly from a corner this weekend in their 4-2 victory. If you haven't seen it, check it out, it's absolutely brilliant. In at number 9 is Kyle Walker. Manchester City have been fantastic over the last year and a bit, there's no doubt about that. And one of the key factors in their play is their flying wingbacks, Walker being no exception. However, over the weekend against Newcastle, he managed to get the winning goal with a 25-yard screamer into the bottom corner. His first goal for his new club since moving from Spurs last summer. In at number 8 is Alexander Lacazette. His first season at the Emirates wasn't great, and it wasn't helped by the fact they brought in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in January to effectively replace him. However, the two have started up front this season pretty well, and their combination play over the weekend was fantastic, culminating in Lacazette smashing in the third goal for Arsenal as they beat Cardiff 3-2. Well deserved in this list in my opinion. In at number 7 we have someone who started pretty well in his new club and it's even better given the fact he was one of the best free transfers of the summer. Joining from Schalke, Leon Goretzka smashed in his first goal for Bayern over the weekend in their victory over Stuttgart and the German international had a more than impressive performance in the centre of midfield. He could be the national replacement for Sami Khedira in the national team as well. In at number 6 is someone who started the season slowly with a few sub-appearances, but over the weekend we really caught a glimpse of what he can do. It's Eden Hazard. He was instrumental in Chelsea's victory over Bournemouth and capped off a superb display with a fantastic goal. The first touch, the finish, it was just magical. And in at number 5 is a new entrant in Romelu Lukaku. Manchester United had so much spoken about them in the last few weeks, whether you're talking about Ed Woodward, Jose Mourinho, and even at the weekend Pogba missed a penalty and Rashford got sent off. But Aside from Romelu Lukaku banging in two, why was he wearing Christmas pants? That's what I want to know. But moving on from that, we're still talking about goals, goals and more goals. That is exactly what you're going to get with a PFA Player of the Month for August, Sadio Mane. He banged in another one against Leicester over the weekend to make it 4-4 four and, four and helped his side continue their fantastic start to the season and their 100% record. Now we move on to the final three, and in at number three is the first of two players who keeps his place in this week's power rankings, it's Usman Dembele. To be honest, we could have put in the whole Barcelona team after they demolished Westgate too, but Dembele's performance was particularly eye-catching, topped off with a goal to help. In at number two is the second player to keep his place in this list, and it's Karim Benzema. Everyone was wondering whether the likes of Benzema and Bale could fill in the boots of Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's four goals in three games for him, and none in three for Ronaldo over in Turin. Of course, you can't compare the two, but with Benzema's flying start, he more than deserves a place in this list. And on to number one, there's a new entrant, but you definitely know who he is. As mentioned before with Barcelona's fantastic win, it's Lionel Messi. The Magician scored two goals over the weekend, and at 31, he's still got a fair few years ahead of him. We'd be delighted to see his quick feet dribbling and fantastically cool finishing for the next few years at least. Just the rest of Europe won't be. And with Messi missing out on the top three nominees to be the best player of the year according to FIFA, he'll be more than eager to prove a point in the next few months. So with those top 10 players done, I'd like to throw in a few honourable mentions because let's be honest, we couldn't fit everyone in there. Firstly, there's Rajan Golan who scored his first goal for Inter Milan as they ran out 3-0 winners. Rui Patricio played fantastically well in goal for Wolves as they snatched a late win at West Ham. And Joe Gomez, yet again, put in a fantastic defensive display as Liverpool beat Leicester. But that's all from me for today. Make sure you click here to check out all the latest videos we've got on One Football. Smash the like button down below and let me know in the comments section what you thought of today's list and who you would have had in there. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.